Ryan, so uh, I am John Paul from uh, Retronyms, and uh, we've been partnering with uh, Kai Pro on the new uh, MPC app, and we've also been working with them on the, uh, the MPC Fly hardware. So they're sort of a, a companion set. You know, the, the app will run standalone, uh, but it also pairs up with the hardware. And every all the controls on the hardware map to the, uh, the features of the app really tightly. So uh, in terms of the app itself, you know, it's really inspired and tries to capture the essence of the MPC 2000, sort of that era of classic MPC 3000-2000. So it's got kind of that, some of that look, but also the features and workflows are sort of inspired by, by that era of MPC. So we're still in development. There's a bunch of sequencing features that we're still working on. But, you know, right here we're sort of focused on a, a playable interface. Uh, so I've got, you know, my, my 16 pads and uh, uh, sort of a playable note variation, which gives me uh, a few parameters I can, I can mess with live while I'm playing. So uh, I've also got, you know, note repeat and uh, 16 levels, sort of, uh, as well as classic MPC swing and timing correct uh, quantized settings, that kind of stuff. So it'll lock all my beats to, uh, to the tempo and everything. So once we get in there, I can, I can record overdub and erase so I can pull out individual pads out of the sequence. So, you know, we're, we're really trying to make an authentic MPC but take advantage of the touch screen. So instead of like little cursor controls that allow me to navigate the data screen, you know, we have a touch screen right here that I can pull up tables of sequences, drum kits, right from here. So it's got four tracks, each with its own drum kit. So there's a four track mixer where I can adjust pan, faders, mute solo, all that kind of stuff. And then uh, there's a three effect effects bus. So I've got, we've got a bit crusher, sort of a bit distortion effect. And I can just easily throw it on the tracks right from here. There's a uh, delay echo type effect with a, uh, a tempo sync delay. So I can sync it to the, the tempo or not. Uh, it has a dampen feature which allows me to throw a filter on over time. And then each track has a, a, a mix. So it's basically like a send effect for each track. So I can mix in how much I want on each, each track independently. Then on the, the end of it, there's a master compressor limiter, which lets me really, you know, compress and boost the sound all the way at the top of this thing. It's, it's limiting. So, so that's the effects bus. And then, of course, you know, the MPC at its heart is a sampler. And we really wanted to make sure we had a tight sampling workflow. So, so I can jump in here and just shortcut right to editing a pad, a uh, program, rather. So I'm editing drums one right here, and I can just drag uh, drums from pad to pad. I can also just jump in here to my uh, uh, factory, you know, sound bank, so, which is full of, you know, Akai samples, all my snares, and I can just drag them onto pads and real quick map out a drum kit, like super fast, right? So I can also import my own samples, throw them in through iTunes, all that kind of stuff. The real fun here for me is like, you know, for a given pad, I can select the pad and then just hop right into the sampler. Now I'm in the sampler, anything I sample here will just drop right on that pad. I can sample from the mic, I can sample from the, the dock connector, the line in, you know, whatever I've got going. So that's basic sampling, but then the fun part is I can pull up this turntable here. So it's kind of like the classic, you know, MPC. I got my Technic sitting right next to my MPC plugged in. I'm dropping the needle on my records. I can pull up anything from my iTunes library and just throw it on my uh, on my record player here. So I can just try, you know, sort of seek around, look for the beat that I'm looking for, right? Start sampling. And when I'm done, it takes me in here where I can trim down and really zero in on the beat that I'm looking for. Now I can rename it here, all everything. Throw it in a category, and when I save it, it's right there. Just a little bit. A little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit of delay here, so. It's got a big crusher, a delay. Trying to get his loud spot loud in here, so you know. You can barely hear what I'm playing. So that's basically it. <laughs> Good, yes sir. Good to see you, man. So, yeah.